Alright guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. Just we ate a weird uh, vegetable or a fruit, I should say. Um, got home, got a couple packages. Has my address on it. Stick it over there. So I went to, let me tell you a little story. <clears throat> went to AutoZone to order a, um, it's like a seal, not really a seal driver or seal saver. It's a, <clears throat> I don't know what you would call it, but basically it goes over the shaft, seal saver. It goes over the shaft and then you when you press the seal in, because I did order gasket kit and a front seal <clears throat> shaft seal anyway it goes over it it stretches the seal goes over it so it doesn't tear the inside of the seal um, so I went to AutoZone to order that it's 16 bucks and uh, there's a place online they sell for 12 bucks and uh, I just said oh well I don't care I'll order it from good old AutoZone and the guy asked me <clears throat> if I'd like to use my rewards. And he says, you got 80 bucks to use for rewards. And I say, 80 bucks? Well, is that right? And he's like, yeah, it's 80 bucks. I was like, all right, well, let's use it. And then I said, well, if it's 80 bucks, I should buy me some stuff. So I bought me torque angle gauge. Ching a ling a ling a ling. -a so basically, this is a torque angle gauge. Used to gauge degree of turn when manufacturer calls for fasteners to to be tightened further after torque loads are applied. So it's basically degrees. So like some some uh, head studs and stuff will be. Damn, freaking bugs. Um, some head studs will say, you know, torque it to 100 foot pounds and then turn it 90 degrees. So you would, you know, you would go from 0 to 90 degree and then you would know you're done. Anyway, so that was like 7 bucks, I think, at the good old auto zone. Let me see. Bellfish. Oh, five bucks. Torque angle gauge, five dollars. Then I bought valve stem snake fishing valve fishing tool. I don't know. So you stick it on a valve stem and you can fish the valve stem through. But anyway, mainly wanted to get a manual or a metal Schrader valve tool. And then this one. You can screw it on and air something all the way down. And then I bought this dang adjustable air cleaner stud kit. A stitch adjustable per uh, filter all day era. Stud is a stouche. Adjustable is adjustable. For filter the air air filter adjustable stud see I speak Spanish anyway um yeah bought that that was I think eight bucks seven ninety nine got that got that that oh I ordered that part and then I got me an air filter yeah Brock ain't no Brock unless you're Edel Brock um So we got here, this is for Project Crack Pop, because I don't have an air filter for the truck. Um, I think the air cleaner, the air cleaner uh, that was on here, or on the truck, I don't know where it's at. I thought it was in the barn, but apparently it's not. Anyway, put a bunch of clay, 
goes through this whole instruction thing. And a big old bunch of hot air came down. Comes with a just a paper element filter. And this bag and a wing nut. It's weird that it don't come with some type of uh mm, the uh stud. So anyway. Let's go put this on. See if it even works. So it does not have a or it does have actually has the little punch out for the for the PCV valve, the breather. Now I think this is the same one dip and diesel by. It's, it's so hard to open. So let's see if it'll fit. I think I think we'll be okay. It's hitting this thingy just a little bit. That piece back here, but I can bend that out of the way. I don't think it's hitting it that bad. So maybe it is. Let me grab something been that maybe a good old good old fashioned American Klein oh Japan what I was saying to myself is it even American and it's not so take this little wrench over here bend this Reggae says, Bad Larry, bend him down. That's a lot of bugs, man. They're crawling all over me. Let's see what that does. That's not really hitting. It kind of is just a little bit. I'll just bend it some more. I need, get, I need to get on the opposite side of it. And I can't. Hmm, I need to get on that side of this stupid thing. All this air conditioning craps in the way. Anyway, let me get this all bent up. Anyway, I'm over it. I'm putting her in, I'm putting her in. So I think, I don't know how that's gonna work with this thing. Being bent and all. Whatever you do. Don't drop the butterfly nut, the wing nut. Up inside of here. If you do, don't twist the throttle. Oh man. Stupid fly. Die fly. Anyway, turning the stupid video into too long of a video. Already too long. Also, you 
guys right here. Oh, that makes some noise. Get. I just don't know how that's gonna work. Let's find out. works. Hmm. Try this one or maybe I'll go get the new one. Heavy, uh oh, I think these threads are shot. <laughs> these threads are shot. I do have a surprise coming in the mail for the fourth gen. Some of you will will like it, some of you will not. If you can see, these threads are, it's like someone had cut this. Anyway, let me fix these threads real quick and uh, show you the final fit and finish. All right guys, I ended up having to cut that little thing down, uh, straighten these threads and then down in there. I cut it about a quarter inch and looks like we got a top fit nice snug fit and I can use the the new wing nut yeah in there there we go I think Okay, nice and taut. There we go, guys. Air filter for Project Pack Pipe. No more dirt getting in them cylinders to polish them cylinders. So, anyway, got that full free part number, easy part number to remember, which is. Uh, one, two, two, three. 14 inch diameter with three inch tall element, three eighths inch deeper flange. So, anyway, got that. That's done. That's out of the way. <clears throat> um, yeah. Got all this other junk. This, I guess I can return now. Since it won't work for my Apple location. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it uh, for that video. And, uh, yeah, like I said, something something's coming for a fourth gen. Something that's a little 1800 bucks since I sold the 6.7 Cummins motor. 
decided to buy the truck something. So um, I do have to pick up that tool tomorrow from AutoZone. So what I'll do is I'll return this tomorrow. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to open up these two boxes. See what's in them. One of them says Air Slam It. Air Slam It. Don't know what it is, but you can find out in the next video. So, alright guys. Stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Got me up to 1,700 subscribers. Woohoo! Alright guys. See you guys in the next video. Later.